G'day guys, welcome to part 9 of the X-Ray X1 build series. What we will be doing in part 9 is attaching the uh, shock, uh, oil field shock and oil field side damper. Now, I didn't do this, this is actually going to be a fairly quick video. Um, I didn't do this in the last, in the previous video, it was going to take too long. Um, but in saying that, it's, it's going to be a pretty, it's going to be pretty straightforward, uh, this part. Um, it is, like I said, it's going to be a short video. Um, however, when, you, when you're ready to do this part, um, X-Ray recommend uh, that you set the preload on the uh, shock here so that the uh, length between the eyelets here is 65 millimeters now it says to set it um, it doesn't say it doesn't say to set it where the, off it shows the picture on the shock uh, shows the shock on the chassis with a battery in there, but it doesn't say whether to do it um, with it off the chassis or on the chassis with the battery in. So I've already just gone ahead and set it at 65 millimeters as it is here. Anyway, so now the next part what we need is some eyelets here. Um, sorry, not eyelets, ball studs. Uh, what these will, these are to go onto the chassis here. But first, what we need is some multi grips because we will have to put them onto the shock assembly. So, quite simply, just get it on there. You feel it click like that. very it's a very tight fit that's what she said <laughs> all right so we've done that what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to put the side damper on first because it has to go in under here then the shock main shock goes on top so as you would recall in the previous videos on the, there are already ball studs one here one underneath here so we'll attach it on first. Now it says to note the orientation. There's a bit of excess oil I might just wipe off. Excuse me a sec folks. Didn't know I didn't get all of it off. Okay, sorry. Okay, so now it has to go, uh, the main end has to go to the right and the shaft end has to go to the left. So what we'll do I think what I'll do is I'll put attach this on here first very carefully all right same procedure again Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So when you do it, just check side movement. The you might have to do a little bit of adjustment afterwards, but this is, but you know, that comes in when it comes to setup. So next part quite easily, three millimeter driver. Guarantee it's going to be two and a half. No, nope, three millimeters. All right. Now it also says to note the orientation. So the what would with your shock? What would be the top of the shock if it was upright on a touring car? Is to face backwards. And main reason for that 
is you want optimum weight distribution when it comes to a two-wheel drive car. So you want can't you kind of want a lot of weight at the back. So we will put this on. We need also. <laughs> I knew there was something missing. We have two shims. One there. One there. Alright. Alright. That's it, folks. That's the shock shaft on. Or the shock on, sorry. So, quite easily. Nice bit of movement there, side movement. So that's it folks, that's the shock assembly. Um, so that's the end of part 9. Part 10, what we will be going on with uh, is the steering. So, basically pretty simple steering. Um, go through I'll do the steering, then it'll be the steering servo, so mount, mounting the electronics. And it's getting into the final stages, guys, so stay tuned for part 10.